All right, let's go across to our guest joining us. Syed Zafar Islam is national spokesperson of the BJP. I'm also joined by Murli Dharan Sivalingam. He's a political analyst, leans towards the DMK. SV Ramani, spokesperson of the Congress, is with us. Deepak Vora, former diplomat, with us as well. I do thank you for your time. Uh, Murli Dharan Sivalingam, let me start with you. The DMK has for a very long time been projecting as if they were opposed to this decision of giving up the claim and they have raised it from time to time. Don't you think this RTI reply kind of exposes the duplicitous stand, uh, you know, stand of the DMK? Because in public they said one thing, while their party patriarch said another thing. Funny, I'm a little surprised that you still believe in RTI. In the last 10 years, that's been completely diluted. So the replies don't stand anymore and it's just another paper. And let but me come the back replies and are answer. correct? Uh, no, are the replies, replies factual or not? See, today hmm. uh, in the Arunachal, uh, China has uh, renamed some of the locations, 30 odd locations. Hmm. We have no answer. In Sri Lanka, China is building a deep port, seaport, hmm. and another airport. Hmm. We have no answer. And you want to talk about 1974 Kachati wave, which Tamilians themselves don't remember what happened during this. In fact, Mr. Annamalai was not born at that time. I'll tell you about Kachatiu. Kachatiu was an island which was predominantly a Catholic island of converts. Hmm. Okay, that's probably one reason why BJP want to invoke Kachatiu. Another reason I'll tell you, in 2008, it was Jalitha who went to Supreme Court and filed a writ saying that it needs to be revived. At that time, I think the senior counsel was Mr. Mukul Rohadgi and he told the center, if at all you want to retrieve Shachatiwa, you will have to go to International Court of Justice or you have to go to war in Sri Lanka. Hmm. Because that was a diplomatic decision taken at that point of time by Ms. Indira Gandhi, who was yeah, much shrewd supported by Karunanidhi at that time. Yes, he was the, he was the uh, local, uh, uh, what do you say, prior chief minister. But Mr. Indira Gandhi is the one who took the decision because this decision... No, the question I asked you, fair yes. enough, the history I've outlined, and I'm not denying, you could have a slightly different perspective to it as well. The question I asked you was this, that actually DMK has in subsequent years, post-1974, raised the issue of this island as if they were opposed to the claim being given up. Is that then not duplicitous when your own chief minister signed off on it? And he actually sheepishly, so. agree, uh, sheepishly uh, you know, uh, concedes that politically he cannot be seen as supporting this decision. That's the duplicity I'm talking about. No, because it's wrong. Because the DMK or ADMK, a state chief minister, has no say in such uh, issues. It's the center which decides. Center decides what is good for but the But did he politically oppose it or support it? You will have to propose it or support this. When need came... You believe me, it was DMK who was the associate uh, uh, of uh, Congress, so they had to support it. It's similarly like that. So when the state has no role... So then yet, why the did it act like it was opposed to the decision later? Was it not for public sentiment? That's what I'm asking you. If it is real matter. politic, even, even then accept has... that it's real politic. But then don't no, raise it as DMK has. I don't think so. It is only after the fishermen started having problem, hmm. both the state chief minister, earlier, earlier it was um, Jalilita hmm. and later Mr. Stalin took up the issue. There's nothing wrong in it. Probably, you know, its issues have, you know, come out now. Earlier it was not a great issue. It was okay. like, you know, fishermen. I want to go across to the Congress right party as well. SV Ramani of the Congress is joining us. The other question that you know, the Congress, is fa Congress faces because, yes, ultimately, this is a diplomatic decision. It's about Indian territorial integrity and falls in the domain of the central government of the time. Now, the charge the Congress governments of the years have faced, particularly from the times of Nehru, is that he had scant regard for territorial integrity. You look at what he said for Aksai Chin. You look at what, he, you know, his government or... Uh, subsequent governments are saying for even this island. But strategically, these are all bordering India. And they would have, should have been extremely important for India. These are foreign affairs blunders. That's what the charge against the Congress is. Now, I want you to give me a few minutes without disturbing so that... I'll know, give you some one and a half minutes for your opening intervention. No, you cannot do that. You cannot make a charge for 20 minutes and then say that I'll No, no, we haven't made minutes. a charge for no, 20 minutes. One and a half minutes, please. Please listen to me. Yes. Now, as far as your title is concerned, ceding 
that itself is wrong because there was no seeding hmm. as per the 2 and 2 the 27th january 2015 in which mr Mo at that time in mr modi was the prime minister to an rti which was replied by the government at that time it very clearly says this agreement did not involve either acquiring or seeding of territory for belonging to india hmm. now this is a document which has been provided by this government number 1 so please change your title there was no seeding as per the bjp government number 2 now bjp directly or indirectly has been in power between 77 and 80 then between 2006 uh, 8 to 2014 2004 and then 2004 to 2024 that means 10 plus 6 plus 3 19 years they have been in power after the agreement was signed now why did not they raise this issue if they felt so much for the fishermen why did this prime minister who has been a prime minister for 10 years did not this raise this issue and did not even know that such an issue exists okay. it is very unfortunate it is very unfortunate it is very unfortunate that an ips officer who has studied ips who has passed ips and who has become a uh, uh, ips uh, officer in karnataka hmm. did not know about kachatiwu till the rti was raised he didn't know for 45 years of his as your partner just RTA. said he wasn't so he even born then he it's okay you can give him a little bit of a leeway but that's that not the point one second Madam, that's not the point it is india's institutional understand. knowledge and memory that is coming back possibly to haunt the dmk and the congress <laughs> i'll take your <laughs> point about one second sir one second i don't want to speak over you one second to come back to the prime minister one second sir i i don't want to speak over you you are saying One second, one second, one second. I'll take your objection. Mr. Ramani, Mr. Ramani, one by one, please listen to me. I'll no, give no, you the minute. opportunity. One I'll minute. give you the opportunity. Why this memory did not come back in the upstream yes, number of the Yes, I'll take that objection. If that is your only months. objection, I'll take that to the BJP spokesperson. But I reiterate my question. what the impact of this revelation is as belated as it may be yes you could argue the bjp is raising for political reasons too it is a political party but the impact is that the congress particularly led by the nehru in the post independence uh, era was very flimsy on giving up territorial claims if not the territory outright that's the See, impression yes agreements agreements between governments on territories is nothing new like what happened in 74 between shrima pandara nayake and prime minister indira gandhi at that time hmm. was an agreement for negotiation of the inter international border at that time there was also another issue concerning 6 <clears throat> lakhs tamil refugees who were in suffering in sri lanka so the when the lines were drawn it is very clear and the rti also very clearly says that i have that rti i can send it to you it says that it did not involve and the area in question had never been demarcated so yes in fact the rti that i am talking about also so, says but, that ceylon had de facto control to, over this island to me, you have to listen to facts w- once again you once again but i am asking and you then, the reasons then, given no, no, just, the reasons minute, given to minute. give up the no. claim they no, include no, no, things one. like jawaharlal nehru saying i have little regard or i attach little importance to this particular piece of land a bureaucrat is saying that you know it's just uh, basically rocks and nothing else are the reasons given right given that this could have been a southern most tip of india no it is not in the southern most tip of india it, it, it could have formed the border between india and sri lanka but, I, but are the reasons more, given more okay one more point 